For nearly 60 years now, people from all over the world attend Oshkosh Fly-In at Whitman Regional Airport with two basic principles in mind. One, to see old friends, and two, to celebrate the past, present, and future in the world of flight. Oshkosh is the mecca of general aviation. You know, Oshkosh is obviously a place, a little town in the middle of Wisconsin, but to an industry, it is so much more than a place. If you're involved in airplanes in any way, whether you're a pilot or a pilot wannabe, Oshkosh is the place to come. This is the lifeblood, the enthusiasm of our entire industry. Whether you're an aviation expert or novice, this fly-in show has something for everyone. No matter your age or style of flight, or whether you're even looking to purchase a new plane, the Experimental Aircraft Association's fly-in, otherwise known as EAA Air Venture Oshkosh, is the place to be. There is no air show on Earth quite like this one where you can be entertained, informed, and thrilled all at the same time. It originally started as a primary uh, for experimental aircraft as the manufacturers that come out and show off their products and has eventually grown into the type of air show where every manufacturer comes around. Uh, it's the largest air show in the U.S. Whether it's seeing the old airplanes, the antiques, the classics, the aerobatic airplanes, there's home builds where somebody might spend 20 years building an airplane in their garage, and it's here being displayed. All right, are you ready to see some one-of-a-kind aircrafts? Well, first up, a company that is driven to fly. Don't believe me? Well, then just take a look. Well, simply, Terrafugia builds flying cars. Uh, the company was formed in 2006. We're an MIT spin-off. We developed the Transition, which is a rotable aircraft. Yep, no need to clean out your ears. You definitely heard him right. A flying car. Terrafusia is a company known for making this two-seat wonder called the Transition. As far as development, we're in the prototype testing stage. We have the vehicle behind me, which is affectionately known as D2 or Developmental 2. It's an airplane that you can keep at your house, drive to the airport. It converts from car to airplane in about a minute. You do a pre-flight and it can fly for about 400 miles. That's about four to five hours of flying time. And if you're wondering how fast it goes... As an automobile, there'll be no problem maintaining highway speeds. In the air, you'll be able to cruise easily at about 100 miles an hour, which is 93 knots. And like all other planes, this futuristic flyer does also come equipped with all of your standard aircraft controls, such as elevators, rudders, and uniquely designed wings. Now, the only other difference is, obviously, from the car to air transition, you have wings that you wouldn't be using when you're driving down the road. That's correct. And unless you're in a parade, up. unless you're in a parade, <laughs> uh, they do fold up. It takes about a minute. They are driven electrically. They're linear actuators. Um, you do it from the cockpit. When you go from flight mode to drive mode, you actually don't even have to get out of the, out of the airplane. And when it comes to inside the cockpit and driving this thing, there are four pedals in total. Two that control rudder and one for the brake and of course one for the gas. And beyond that, you also have all of your much needed plane and car instruments. We have seat belts, airbags, turn signals, high beam, low beam, backup lights. Rear view mirrors are on the side, rear facing cameras. The one thing that we have in this that you don't have in most cars except maybe some of the ones that you profiled. Stereo. Stereo. We also have a parachute. Oh, you need okay. a parachute for your car, too. For some cars, right. you do. Which reminds me, yes, indeed, you do, in fact, need a runway in order to fly this thing, just in case you were wondering. Just don't take off. Right. So Sorry, we... no flying over traffic with Exactly. This. Um, you can, but you need a runway first. Exactly right. This is an airplane. You need to take off and land at airports. Uh, can you take off from the highway? Yes. In Alaska and Montana, it's actually allowed. Any other place, not recommended. However, fingers crossed, flying straight up and out of traffic may just be a possibility in the nearby future. We have publicly announced a new vision. It's called the TFX. People often ask us, is this the Jetsons? It's really not. The TFX, which is 8 to 10 years out, that's the Jetsons, and that's the direction that we're heading in. Okay, looking to get inside this revolutionary airplane? Well, get in line. We are currently taking deposits for the transition. 
It's a $279,000 vehicle. That's our estimated price. We currently have in excess of 100 orders on the books.